<laughs> Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tied on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? <clears throat> Not something you see every day. <clears throat> I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name, it ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time, trying to find her? You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really. The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Boy, wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <gasps> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. <sighs> Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Kuri. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late.